Hello, if you're using QuickBooks Online and Microsoft Excel Online, here's an interesting way for you to start sending automations to your clients or team members when data changes from your dashboards or models using Zapier. Historically with Zapier, you can't connect to QuickBooks Online. There's no integration between the two, but using Genius Sheets, when you automate your dashboards and refresh the data, you can track on a rolling basis when certain accounts pass certain thresholds, when certain customers haven't paid you yet, or when your sales breach a certain big threshold. Like let's say every time your sales team hits a $50,000 a month goal, you send them all a congratulations email. Now you can do that and I'll show you how in just a few quick minutes. So first you can see we're in our Excel online model. We've got our Genius Sheets formulas all set up. So these are automatically referencing the data straight from your general ledger in QuickBooks. So that anytime you hit this refresh data button, it's gonna resync the data. So now let's move to Zapier, the exciting part. In Zapier, we set up this Ron Swanson trigger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select Microsoft Excel as your first trigger option. And we're gonna select updated row in Microsoft Excel. Then we're going to hit continue, choose account. So select the email account you want to use. Yes, that's my email address. You're going to select your OneDrive account, the folder, the name of the spreadsheet, and the tab you want to connect to. So you'll see, right, there's the profit and loss, profit and loss, column C, trigger column C. So we want the data to come from in here. We're not gonna do the test trigger. So the way Zapier works is you can only test these triggers if it's one of these bottom three rows. So for everything else, you have to activate the Zap and then we can test it afterwards. So we're the second step, we're gonna do the action item using the Zapier filters. We're gonna choose app, filter by Zapier, perfect. Filter setup testing. We can ignore this error because that has to do with the testing triggers. In here, when this loads, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the row and we're gonna select the trigger that we want to activate when the data crosses a certain threshold or changes. Let's try, let me go back to that. Continue, all right, there we go. So column C, number greater than 60. So we're selecting, I want the data to come from column C. And then the row, you can select the name of the row in the show all options. I'll give you the option row. Text exactly matches 23. So I'm pulling from the 23rd row, which is the Ron Swanson workbook. We're saying if the number is greater than 60, we want to trigger a zap. Then we'll hit continue. The zap in this example can be a Slack message, uh, email through Gmail. Setting up the Gmail is pretty easy. You just link your Gmail account set up who you want to send it to, who you want to CC, what you want to say, who you want to say it's from. And then anytime when you're setting this up, if we want the data, what you can do is you can set this up so it's the current month. So if I wanted to do it, it would be for April 4th, 17, 2022. And now every day, every week, you can hit, you can go in, hit this refresh data button and the data that will sync in this column, once it crosses that threshold that you set up in Zapier, It'll send the notification to your client, to your team member with one press of a button. What this means, what you can do is you can set up a dashboard of all triggers. You can set up five, 10, 15 different triggers, different accounts, balance sheet items, your number, your cash. You can set up cash flow triggers, general ledger accounts from your PL. You can set up all these triggers in one tab, go in with Genius Sheets, hit refresh data. It'll sync all of those. And if any of the thresholds that you've set up on Zapier are breached, you can have those triggers sent to different slacks, emails, wherever you want them to go on an automated basis. So we thought it was a really cool way that you can start using Zapier to actually help your team, your clients, and yourself make better decisions with your data. So if you have any questions how to set it up, reach out, we'd love to help.